Do you think drone mapping is still easy in 2025? Well, it's not, even if you got the best gear. I've been a land surveyor for 20 years and i never seen the market this crowded or this misunderstood. Everyone's flying drones, prices are tanking and the clients, they are getting pickier than ever. So in this video, I'm going to show you the hard truth about drone mapping in 2025 and how the smart professionals are still making it work. The drone mapping gold rush is over. Yeah, I know, it sounds dramatic, but it's true. So here's what's really going on. Everyone jumped in thinking drones were their ticket to six-figure freedom, and I get it. Early on, it kind of looked that way, but fast forward to 2025, and now it feels like every town has a dozen of drone pilots all chasing the same few jobs. You've got folks doing full drone projects for 50 bucks. That's no business, that's lunch money. And it's not just new guys driving down prices. Some of your own clients, they are bringing it in-house. They'd rather pass a drone to one of their crews than pay for outside help. I've literally watched engineering teams hand off drones to trainees just to save a few bucks. Why? Because to them, it's just a tool, just a drone. And if you're not offering more than drone photos, you're easy to replace. Now, don't get me wrong drone mapping isn't going away. In fact, it's still growing in a lot of sectors like construction, mining, environmental, land surveying. Those industries still need mapping. I've actually done more construction work in the past year than I expected. So yeah, the demand is still there. It's just more selective. The difference now, clients want professionals. They want people who know how to deliver clean, accurate, usable data, not just pretty pictures from a drone. If you want more tips on accuracy, workflows, pricing, and what really works out in the field, check out my free newsletter. It's where I share more stuff I don't have time to post on YouTube. The link is in the description. Now let's talk about the folks who still frightening, they are not offering drone services for everyone. They are specialists. They carved out a niche like construction mapping, flood risk assessment, landfills, utility corridors, even historic site modeling. They are solving real problems with real accuracy. That's what keeps clients coming back. I call myself a flying surveyor because that's exactly what I am. My clients know they are getting survey grade work like volume calculation, cut and fill analysis, accurate topographical maps, and useful deliverables that my clients need. That's what sets you apart, not the drone, the results. Here's the biggest shift. If you're still out there selling drone services, you're probably struggling. You've got to sell outcomes, solutions, something the clients can't get in-house. Whatever it is, make sure you're solving a pain point, not just flying a drone. It happens from time to time to lose some jobs to other people who undercut me by nearly half. And a few weeks later, the client to call me stressed out because the deliverables were garbage and the data doesn't line up with historical drawings. And now I show clients my accuracy report, case studies right up front, because once they see the difference, they stop chasing the cheapest bid and start looking for quality. So yeah, the gold rush is over. The easy jobs are gone, but there's plenty of work if you know how to stand up. If you're brand new and you're hoping to go pro with just a drone and a license, this probably isn't the get rich path you are thinking it is. But if you got real skills like engineering, surveying, GIS, inspections, even project management, this is still a powerful tool in your toolbox. If this gave you some clarity or even maybe a reality check, drop a comment. Make sure to subscribe if you want to find out more no BS takes on the drone industry. And if you haven't yet, sign up for my newsletter. It's where I share the deeper stuff, things that actually move the needle for people who do this seriously. 